Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you through how to make a timing pointer for your LS engine. Now because no LS engine comes with timing marks, it's hard to verify your timing and that's exactly what this is used for. So after you get it set up, you can go ahead and grab a timing light, lock your timing in on your uh, tuning software and confirm that your engine is actually putting out the same timing that it's saying it is. So here's a timing pointer I purchased for about five bucks on Summit Racing and I just bolted it to a standoff on the timing cover. So this is a special tool you'll need here and it's piss and stuff. What it does is it threads into the spark plug hole, it's spring loaded and it has little indicator marks on it. So you can see that all you have to do is thread this into the spark plug and rotate the engine by hand. Now where the indicator shows the maximum measurement that's your TDC. So you have to play around a little bit to make sure you've actually got the maximum, but it's not terribly hard to do. Once you get to TDC, you simply scribe the marks onto your balancer. So though this method is really cheap, I was kind of interested in seeing how accurate it was. And I did a quick calculation here to determine that uh, if your lines are installed within 1.6 millimeters, you should be accurate to a degree. Now there's also the factor of how accurately did you find your top dead center using the tool. But all in all, I think if you were diligent with this method, you should be able to get a mark that's within a degree. And for the purposes of just checking your base timing and make sure that your computer is commanding what it says, you should be in good shape. So thanks for checking this out. We'll talk to you guys later.